Hello, my name is Mike Kennedy. I've, uh, I've spent the last 15 years working and recruiting for some of the biggest corporate employers in the UK. In, uh, in early 2013, I set up assessmentcenterhq.com, which is a free resource that helps uh, people who are about to attend an assessment day or an assessment center. And in this short video, I'm going to tell you uh, what to expect from an intray exercise and, uh, and give you some tips on how, on, uh, how to succeed. So, uh, so what is an intray exercise? Uh, the intray exercise is a uh, it's a it's an assessment activity that's uh, widely used at assessment centres and assessment days. It's particularly common uh, for assessment centres for uh, for the civil service, and um, it's basically a business simulation. So you're presented with a sort of fictional uh, pile of work, and you have to uh, you have to explain. Uh, how you would deal with that that workload so it's a it's a way of you um, it's a way whereby you can demonstrate to your prospective employer how you would approach um, a, a particular sort of pile of work and uh, there's a very similar uh, variant on it which is called the e-tray which is just an electronic version of the in-tray exercise uh, and really the, the the techniques for success are broadly the same in each one and we'll come on to that in a moment the intra exercise is assessing um, your ability to uh, prioritize and analyze data. It's also assessing your ability um, to delegate as well, which is, that's a big part. That's a big part of it. And um, I, I, actually, I'll read you. Um, I'll read you an example uh, intra, um, an example intra brief. I've got one just here, which will uh, which will illustrate it a bit more clearly to you. I think. Okay, here we go. You have just returned to work following a two-week holiday. Your colleague, who was covering for you in your absence, has left a pile of work on your desk marked for your attention. It includes reports, memos, emails, presentations, telephone messages, handwritten notes from colleagues, web pages, and letters. You need to review each item and then provide the following. A list of actions which includes your analysis of each of the items the priority you would assign to each item and also include who should be involved, colleagues, third party, stakeholders, etc. You have 60 minutes to complete the exercise and report back. Okay, so that's what you should, uh, that's what you should expect from your intra exercise. It's basically, uh, here's a pile of work, um, tell us what you would do with it. So uh, the the key to intra success lies in your prioritization, um, because that will ultimately um, it paints a very clear picture to your prospective employer of how you would um, of how you would approach your work and shows um, it demonstrates a host of skills so you know data selection but also um, business acumen um, logical um, you know logical reasoning. You can tell a lot about someone by uh, where they place their sort of priorities and emphasis in, in a pile of work. So it's actually, from an employer's point of view, it's a really, really useful exercise. From your point of view, what you need to demonstrate in your intra is some kind of clear-sighted, logical way of approaching this and then actually explaining how you would approach each one. So there's sort of there's two parts to an intra exercise. One is scanning through and prioritizing the workload. And the second part is how you would actually deal with each item of that workload. So um, the key thing when you're doing the prioritization is assessing two, two elements for each item that you've got. So it might be that there's a, a pile of 30, um, you know, 30 pieces of paper with all different issues contained on, on there. And what you need to decide is two things is one, how important is this? And two, how urgent is this? And they're the only two questions that you need to ask yourself. And those two things will inform uh, you know how quickly that item is, is needs needs addressing and also to a certain extent it dictates your response to that so step one is go through that and for each item um, you know answer how important is this item and how urgent does this item and then once you've done that that will allow you to um, to to process the work in uh, in a logical way and obviously you can explain this to your employer they'll absolutely love this because it's a really good way of um of uh, you know of uh, of addressing uh, a, a pile of, of critically analyzing a workload so what you're going to end up with 
or what you should then aim to end up with is four piles. So you've got a pile of, you know, 30 pieces of paperwork or documents of some kind. What you want to do is just have a matrix. So you have uh, an important and urgent pile, and then you have an important and not urgent pile, and then you have a not important <laughs> but urgent pile, and then a not important and not urgent pile. That's literally it. And that's, um, you know, I mean, that's a really, a really well-worn, uh, well-known business classic matrix. You know, uh, President Roosevelt used it over in the States in recent years. Um, Dr. Stephen Covey made it really popular with his Seven Habits of Highly Successful People uh, book. But that, that's just a, it's a perfect way to do it. So if you just go through each item and just ask yourself that question, is this important? Yes or no. OK. Is this urgent? Yes or no. And literally by doing that, you can create four piles. And then obviously the, the, the order they need addressing in is important and urgent needs to be dealt with first. Important and not urgent needs to be dealt with next. Not important and urgent needs to be dealt with thirdly. And lastly, not important and not urgent, you could consider not addressing that pile at all. So that's the first part of the entry exercise, scanning and prioritizing the workload. What you'll find really, really helpful helpful at this point, and I would urge you to take this with you on the day, is some post-it notes, or, you know, sticky notes. Because as you look through those 30 or so items that are there, you'll very quickly forget, you know, which one, which one is which. If you scan through it and then just use your post-it notes to say what pile you're going to put it into, or maybe just make some notes on how you're going to deal with that activity, um, it will make it much easier for you when you come back to it, you know, in 20 documents down the line to refresh, you know, your memory of what that item is and how important it is and how urgent it is and how you're going to deal with it. So that's step one, scan through and prioritize. And then the next stage of the intra exercise is you actually deciding, OK, what am I actually going to do with this piece of piece of work? So at that stage, what you need to do is basically you need to project yourself into a working environment and a work frame of mind and just think to yourself you know what would I do with this piece of work in the real world you know um, understand who sent it make sure you know understand what their motivations are understand when it was sent as well so you know your eye for detail is being assessed here as well so you need to understand um, that aspect of it and then also you need to think you know what do I need to do to resolve this can I resolve this who else do I need to bring into this um, who do I need to make aware of it? You know, even if there is somebody who is who can't actually help you resolve that issue, maybe there is another department or some of the stakeholder that you need to liaise with, who um, who needs to be made aware of that. So, so that's the kind of the next stage is, uh, you know, is uh, what do I need to do with this item? Who do I need to uh, involve in it? Who do I need to make aware of it? And then you want to present all of that back to. Um, at the end, your employer will love that really clear progression through the urgent and not urgent matrix. And then also you taking them through um, each issue in turn. Okay, so you will find a uh, fantastic guide over at uh, assessmentcenterhq.com slash ITE, which obviously stands for in-tray exercise. Uh, if you head to assessmentcenterhq.com slash ITE, that will take you to our intray exercise guide and you will find the free um, practice intray exercise, which will be a huge, huge help for you. You'll also find other in-depth guides there, uh, video tutorials and other um, practice tests and guides uh, that will help you enormously at your assessment day. So I hope this video has been helpful. I'm sorry if I kind of rambled on at 100, mi 100 mile an hour, but there's a lot of data to get through there. I hope that's really helpful. And uh, I hope to see you over the, at, the, uh, at my website, assessmentcenterhq.com. Cheers.